<laughs> but it's, it's going to become different when they bring it down to the strip and you got, you know, $150 a night rooms and four bucks for coffee. I mean, this is, it's, it's so, it's so basic down here. <laughs> you got to like it. But you, but you get that freedom walk, you know, just walking along those corridors that you're, you know, you're walking into a big arena. I don't, I don't think it's going to be the same in the Rio. Okay. But, but you'll still play the ring. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you better believe I'd play it. I was at a Jesse once. I mean, uh, people get so worked up about this event. I mean, there's just one thing you, know, you have to understand, and that's, I mean, you're either going to win the event before you die or you're going to die before you win it. It's, it's, it's simple. I mean, it's the only attitude to have. But it's going to become way, way trickier to win it. I mean, it's, it's, it's like that. Uh, I was less disappointed in getting knocked out this year. I got knocked out with maybe um, 600 left or something like that. And I lost a big pot. And Veronique was way more upset than I was. And well, if you, even I won the pot, what difference is going to make? It's enough to get through another 600. It's, I mean, it's just... It's just frightening to think. I mean, you used to be able to win this event. And I, I played this event when it, it was... But you, you knew what your chances were at the start. I mean, they, they weren't all that daunting. But now it's two and a half thousand guys. When you, 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 now you're going to have to get lucky to win it. I mean, it's being good isn't enough anymore. I mean, you, you're just going to have to be a lucky bastard as well. I'm going to practice that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to start watching lucky bastards. <laughs> See what they do. I mean, maybe, maybe it's in the diet. Who knows? You know when you're lucky bastard. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of sad, really, isn't it? It really is sad. It really is sad. Well, it's like they can't get their logos put on. Fuck them. But the, the, the funny thing is this year, when you're walking around the place, and uh, I suppose, but God, I must be getting old. Like, I'm nearly a veteran at this stage. I mean, I'm, I'm, no. When did you say I first came here? <laughs> well, you were walking, you said, Carl McKelvey! I mean, you know, like, there wouldn't be, like, 50 people here who would know who he is, right? I mean, well, yeah, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. But if you're walking around the place, and all these um, all these guys that maybe wouldn't have talked to you two years ago that you might have played with at some stage, mm. it's going, hi, how's it going? I mean, it's a bit like all the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> They're all kind of ganging up. You've got all these little <laughs> Swedish kids. Man. What is it with these Swedish guys? They all go to the same barber or what? I mean, uh, they've all got the same haircut. I can't tell the difference. I thought there was only one of them. <laughs> They're all 23. You know. <laughs> I got this theory that they, it's a bit like maybe when you get to 30 in Sweden, you've got to be exterminated. Or something. <laughs> God, it's frightening. There's just, there's just waves and waves of them coming. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be lucky never get to the second day again. <laughs> what were you like at 23? <laughs> you were like, what are you? Huh? I didn't have that hair, dude. <laughs> 23, huh? 